Hello everyone, welcome to Cast Crochet. In this video, I'll show you how to crochet a beanie. Mm, I already started, but this is the beanie we're going to make. I'm going to make. Okay, I'm going to use two hooks for this. I use a G hook or four mm hook for the brim for the ribbed brim and i'll use the each hook for the body you also need a scissor this yarn the yarn i use is this big twist soft in blush color For the for the ribbing I I chain nine. So you're going to chain nine. Okay, so chain up nine. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, and nine, and to the second chain from your hook, make a single crochet. At the end of this first row, you have eight single crochet. That's what we want. And now we're going to work eight single crochets back loop only until we have the size or until it fits my head. You chain one for the second row. You're just gonna work into the back loop only. So back loop only. Do not. It's important that you count your stitches. You have to have eight single crochet. Do not miss a stitch. So we are working back loop only. So there's my second row, chain one and turn, and back loop only, work single crochet eight, we're just gonna have to repeat all this until you have the size you want for this pinny I have 72 rows you can do 69 or 72 if you want chain one turn your work and I'll show you one more time back loop only single crochet eight you always chain one turn your work that's how our work is going to look like chain one turn your work and then single crochet back loop only okay I'm gonna 
let you do your brimming part your brim part or I'll just pause the video and I'll come back when I have the size I want for the swatch and I'll go back here to show you how to do the decrease okay go ahead do your brim and I will be back okay I am back uh, so let's say I have enough of this to wrap around my head you're going to count every bump each bump as two say I have 36 36 row for this one this one I made 74 not 72 72 rows as you all know I don't like tight beanie we are going to join this one chain one and now we are going to join no I don't chain one first my bad you're going to slip your hook in that first stitch right here and turn on this side you are going to grab one loop one loop because this is our beginning side on this side we're going to grab both loops like that make sure you have eight I am grabbing this side the one loop and the this side both loop more there it is now we're going to work on the body. This is a multiples of three. Okay. We are going to double crochet in each of the stitch here or it's multiples of three so just chain three and make this our first double crochet so double crochet in each of the rows remember every bump for this count as two You need a multiples of three for this pattern. Okay, go ahead, do a double crochet in each of the stitch. If you're short, just do an increase 
you gotta have multiples of three okay so do your sing uh double crochet i will meet you back here here i have finished my double crochet i have one extra stitch there but i'll just ignore it because i got my multiples of three and i forgot to mention i switched my hook size to crochet the first row i mean the double crochet row for our body for our hot body so use your bigger hook once you're done making your brim go slip stitch into this third chain from our first double crochet now we are going to do this pattern you're going to chain three into the next two stitches next two double crochet make one double crochet into each and you have three double crochet and yarn over into this double crochet here like under this first double crochet that we have in this group three in this three double crochet one two three into the first double crochet we're going to work front post double crochet under our first double crochet here so yarn over do a front post double crochet here this and into the next three stitch make one double crochet in each you make one three groups of double crochet I have my three double crochet and we have this three double crochet under our double crochet on top one two three into the first here you're going to work one front post double crochet again you're going to yarn over work back in this stitch where we have under our first double crochet here this one yarn over and make front post double crochet in there like that and the next three stitch make one double crochet again in each one two three again we are working going to work back skip this two chain under below the two double crochet and we are going to work here we are going to yarn over and make a front post double crochet back here under our first double crochet of this three double crochet group on top yarn over into the next stitch make one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet and into the next one double crochet there there you have your three group of double crochet again yarn over you are going to skip 
the two stitch or the two double crochet so this is one two into the third double crochet below it for a front post double crochet again into the next three stitch make double crochet each one two three and we're going to skip so this is our double crochet this is our second double crochet into the third double crochet you're going back into the third double crochet or below your or under your first double crochet of the group you work front post double crochet all right again you make your front post and now you're going to work three double crochet into the next three stitches you're gonna have to continue I will meet you back at the end of our row and I am back but I have three stitches left here so I'll do a double crochet in this stitch one double crochet in the next and one double crochet into that last one and yarn over make front post double crochet under our this first double crochet here so here it's this one yarn over and front post double crochet in there And that's ready to do close this first row and then slip stitch into that first into the third chain from our first double crochet or that three chains that we make to start the row so that is the end of our first row for the second row This is going to be the repeat row. Chain three into the next two stitch or this two double crochet. Make one double crochet in each. We're still making three double crochet group. But this row is a, is a bit easier because you don't have to you know where you're gonna work your front post yarn over work back here into this front post double crochet so you have your you, we're not working on this front post we're working on this front post here this one you have your three double crochet Work front post double crochet in we are going back here front post double crochet in there like that you're going to skip this front post stitch here you skip this one stitch or on top of this front post double crochet into the next three stitch make three double crochet that is your three group of double crochet yarn over work front post double crochet back into this front post double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into that front post double crochet and make front post double crochet
now it's going to look like this yarn over again skip this front post double crochet stitch or this one stitch and make three double crochet into the three stitch all right yarn over and work back into this front post make front post double crochet skip this front post into the next three stitches make one make three double crochet in each stitch so you're still making three double crochet group yarn over and work back into this front post double crochet and make front post double crochet go ahead repeat i will meet you back here when we have our last three stitches i am back i have i'm sorry i'm gonna pause it Okay, I'm back. I have four stitches uh, here left. This for the front post. We're going to skip that. I'll just do double crochet in each of that three stitches left. And we have one more front post left here. So yarn over, work back in that front post and make front post double crochet and then slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning that's the end of our second row I will show you one more time third row chain three always chain three into this next two stitch make one double crochet each there's our first group of double crochet three double crochet yarn over work back into this front post double crochet make front post double crochet okay you're going to skip this chain where we have our front post into the next three stitches make one double crochet each one two three yarn over work back into this front post double crochet and make front post double crochet skip this chain where we have our front post in the next three stitches make three double crochet each can yarn over work back into this front post that you skip and make front post double crochet continue i will meet you back here i am back i have one front post left and three stitches left so you skip this front post and work double crochet three in each of the three stitches left And then we have our front post here. Last one, make front post double crochet. And slip stitch to join. And close our third row. Okay. You need how many rows? One, 
9. Counting this regular double crochet, you need 10 rows. You need this is 10 row. Okay, you're going to crochet this until you have your 10 rows okay just crochet until you have your 10 rows and the first double crochet that we make count as our first row continue making your 10 rows I will meet you back and I'll show you how to do the decrease all right I will be back It's time to do the decrease. So for your hat, you need 10 rows again, okay? One, you will count, we count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You need 10 rows before you do the decrease. Now it's too, time to do the decrease. You're going to chain three. Chain three, one, two, three. Make one double crochet into the next stitch. You only need two double crochet, okay. Skip one, yarn over, work back into this front post here and make a front post double crochet. Skip two stitch, one, two, into the next two stitches. Make two double crochet. yarn over make front post double crochet you're going to work back again make front post double crochet in do that front post double crochet you skip two chain one two or you skip the double double crochet here and the front post this front post and work one two make two double crochet instead of making three double crochet group I mean three group of double crochet no we're not making two double crochet because we're doing the decrease part yarn over and work back into this front post double crochet and make front post double crochet skip two chain in this the next two stitch make one double crochet each yarn over work back into this front post double crochet and make front post double crochet that's how you do the decrease I'm gonna show you one more time yarn over skip two chain in this two stitch make one double crochet each yarn over and work front post double crochet in that Repeat, I will meet you back here when we have our last four stitches. Okay, I made it to the last five stitch here on this row. You're going to skip two, chain, stitch one and two, and into the next one, two, make one double crochet each. Yarn 
instead of making a three double crochet we're making two so you just leave that last stitch alone and make your last front post double crochet back into this front post double crochet and slip stitch to join into that first double crochet in the beginning and that is the end of our 11th row for the 12th row you're going to chain 3 and we're going to make one double crochet in the next stitch yarn over and work back into this front post double crochet where we have our chain three you always work back not this okay work back front post Skip this front post, <coughs> excuse me, and work two double crochet into that two stitch each. We're still making two group of double crochet and yarn over and work front post double crochet here. Skip this front post stitch into the next two make double crochet yarn over and work back into this front post and make front post go ahead i will meet you back here to do our last stitch okay i made it now i have three stitch left Skipping this front post stitch, this next two, I'll make one double crochet in each. And we have our last front post here. I'll just go ahead, work back and that front post and make front post. Now we're ready to close our 12 row. For the 13th row, you're going to chain 3, String, chain 3 always count as our first double crochet, we're only making one double crochet now, so we made 2 and now we're making 1, you have your chain 3, this is count as our first double crochet, you're going to yarn over and work back into this front pose where this chain 3 is lined up okay make front post double crochet you're going to skip two chain one two into the third chain make one double crochet and then work one front post double crochet in that front post double crochet skip one two chain into the third make one double crochet yarn over and make front post double crochet under this double crochet and that's how you do it just keep repeating i will meet you back here when we have our last stitches and i am back i have here my last front post stitch and i'm going to skip these two into the third stitch make one double crochet and yarn over and work one last front post into this this one front post left and close the row by making a slip stitch into that chain three that we make in the beginning 
that is the end of our 13th row so it's getting a little smaller for our row 14 you're going to chain 3 and then you work one front post here but don't finish it so you have your chain 3 chain 3 work front post double crochet in that front post but don't finish skip this front post stitch and work double crochet in there You have three loops now into this front post make unfinished front post now you got four loops there make yarn over and grab all four of them that's how you do your 14th row yarn over you're going to skip this front post into the next stitch make one double crochet but don't finish it yarn over and work unfinished front post double crochet into that front post you have three loops yarn over skip this stitch into the next make A double crochet yarn over and work one front post into that front post wait a minute I'm supposed to have only four loops okay my bad you are going to skip this into this double crochet make one double crochet work your unfinished double crochet here skip this chain into the next make one double crochet And into this front post make unfinished front post maybe you're supposed to have five loops guys I'm sorry let me do it again so you have your chain three this is the beginning of our okay we're going back to row 14 yarn over into this front post where we have our chain 3 lined up make a unfinished front post you have two loops now you skip this front post into the next stitch make one unfinished double crochet into this front post make unfinished front post now you have four loops on your hook yarn over and grab all four okay skip this chain or stitch or skip this front post into the next make unfinished double crochet into this front post make Finish front post we're making like double crochet cluster and skip this stitch into the next make and finish double crochet yarn over into this front post make and finish front post so you got five loops on your hook 
turn over and grab all five. You still have that ribbing effect, like you okay, so yarn over. Okay, I think I'm doing this row 14 wrong. Take three. Okay, take three. Row 14. I'm I'm sorry, guys. Yarn over and go back to this front post where we have our chain three lined make unfinished front post skip this stitch where we have our front post into the next make a double crochet into this front post make unfinished front post into this skip this front post into the next stitch make one double crochet you still make one double crochet into every double crochet stitch and into this front post make unfinished front post so you now you have four loops on your hook turn over and grab all four okay yarn over skip this front post stitch into the next stitch make one double crochet but don't finish it yarn over into this front post make one unfinished double crochet skip this front post into the next stitch yarn over and make a double crochet leaving one loop yarn over into this front post make front post double crochet you got five loops on your hook yarn over and grab all five okay I'll show you one more time you are going to skip this stitch into the next stitch make unfinished double crochet into this front post make one unfinished front post skip this stitch into the next make one unfinished double crochet and into this cluster I mean front post make one front post you got five loops on your hook yarn over and grab it all so that's how you're going to do it just repeat it i'll meet you back here i am back guys i have the last decrease here yarn over Skip this front post into that double crochet. I'll just make and finish double crochet. Into this front post, I'll make front post. I'm just not gonna finish it. Into this double crochet, I make and finish double crochet. Into this front post, I'll make From post I now I have five loops on my hook yarn over and grab five loops yarn over into this last double crochet make unfinished double crochet into this last front post make unfinished front post Yarn over, grab all three, then slip stitch into that chain three that we make in the beginning. 
again I made it tight so that's the end of our 14th row we got one more row to do now we're just gonna chain one I mean chain two we're just gonna do front post the unfinished front post that's your one first front post yarn over into this front post make a front post don't finish it We're working just the front loop, front post into this next front post. Make work, work front post. Now you got three. Yarn over and grab all three. Okay. Yarn over into this front post. Make front post into this front post make one front post and finish front post we're making a front post cluster into the next front post make one front post you got four loops on your hook turn over and grab all four yarn over into this front post make one front post but don't finish it turn over into this next front post make front post turn over into the next front post make one front post you got four loops on your hook turn over and grab all four turn over into this front post make one unfinished front post Turn over into this next front post, make one unfinished front post, into the next front post. You got four loops on your hook, turn over and grab all four. Almost there guys, we're almost there. So you are making unfinished front post. one into this front post make another unfinished front post two one more into this next front post we're basically just making double crochet cluster so you got four loops on your hook turn over and grab all four into the next front post make one Double crochet cluster, unfinished double crochet or cluster into the next front post. Make unfinished double crochet into this next front post. Make unfinished front post. You have four loops on your hook, turn over and grab all four. Into the next front post, work unfinished front post into the next make unfinished front post and into the next make unfinished front post you got four loops on your hook again yarn over and grab four yarn over and we're going to do all this last three front loops make front unfinished front loops in there one two three you get four loops on your hook yarn over and grab all four and slip stitch into this second chain that we make in the beginning
Oh my. This is my problem every time. And that is the end of our 15th row. So for the row 16, you don't have to do this, but I'll just do in every stitch, I'll just do a big clusters, a double a double crochet cluster. So I chain one into every stitch, just do I mean it's not cluster. I don't know how you you say it, but you're just grabbing insert your hook into every stitch until you got it all one more I can do this you can leave this part, just cut a long tail and just stitch it right there. And grab it all the loops together. Okay. I'm going to pause the video. This is how your work going to look like. And that's there you have it guys I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to add a white pom-poms in there so I'm going to cut a long tail this is the back of your hat this is a reversible one you can use the back as well see the back the wrong side is just as beautiful as the front side I mean the right side so this is the wrong side okay um you will also need a, your darning needle as so if here I already have it I'm going to bring this out to the wrong side. So I can attach my pom pom. You ha if you have a better way of attaching your pom-poms, it's okay, you don't have to watch me. You can do it your way. And then bring it back to the right side. I have never used these fancy pom-poms before, so, yep. Okay, so I'll just pause the video because it's taking so long already. I'll just attach my pom-pom off camera. Alright, I will be back when I'm done. And there, I finished the hat. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this takes so long. I don't know what I don't want to make long videos but it's just how the pattern works it's a lot longer so thank you all so much for watching I will see you all again next time God bless take care everyone bye bye